but with that big fourth quarter. Yeah, I mean, uh, to your point, Mike, uh, I think they went on a 29 to five run um, to, to go up by as many as nine points. Um, obviously went back to our starters uh, very early in that fourth quarter. Um, did not want to make that same mistake as the Charlotte game, wanted to get our guys back in. Um, yeah, and I love how we responded. You know, um, they went on their run, give them credit. Um, but we, we responded the way we needed to, getting stops, sharing the ball, executing. Um, it was a little bit of an adventure there at the end, but uh, we did enough to pull out the win, and uh, we needed this one. Uh, speaking to, uh, to Davon, he had a huge defensive stop at the end, 15 points overall. Um, what were you most impressed with, uh, with his night tonight? I mean, everything, you know, for, for a young man who was on his second 10 day contract with us. Um, he looks like he belongs. I've said it since summer league. Davon Reed is an NBA player, uh, 15 points, six of eight from the field, three of four from three. And obviously, uh, lots of very good defensive possessions guarding Eric Bledsoe. Tough challenge. And the last play of the game, obviously, we're up three. They have the ball and his ability to sit down and guard um, and force Boston into a very tough shot. So um, I just like the uh, D. Reed's confidence. Uh, he looks very, very comfortable and confident out there. And, uh, and I think that's a key. You know, you got to believe that you belong, and he certainly does. Last one from me. Um, was this uh, was this the best Christmas gift you got? Yeah, I mean, I wish I wish it was a couple of days ago on the twenty third. But um, you know, the last couple of days have been you know uh, tough for all of us. Uh, anytime you, you you blow a nineteen point lead at home, uh, going into a holiday, you know, I, I know I wasn't very much fun to be around. So um, I apologize to my wife and my daughters and my dogs <laughs> because I, I was kind of a uh, a Scrooge. Uh, but yeah, th this makes it feel better. You know, wins and losses come and go, but um, the emotions that you go through within a season and a few days are all over the place. Uh, and now we go to Golden State, play against a great team, a great player. Uh, and it's a hell of a challenge for us uh, to try to you know, get, get another win on the road. Appreciate it. Thank you. Go ahead, Ryan Blackburn. Coach, uh, Austin Rivers got the start today in place of Blacko. Uh, and then as, as, as given Aaron Gordon is out as well. Uh, what did you like about what he gave you guys tonight? Obviously the four threes, but the, defensively and how important is he for this team going forward? Yeah, I thought Austin was, uh, was really good for us across the board tonight. Uh, he had a big three late in that game. Um, he was four of eight from the field. He knocked down four threes, uh, four assists, three rebounds on top of really good defensive possessions. Uh, as you mentioned, Ryan, um, you know, I was looking at different things. You know, you go back to last year in the first round of the playoffs. You know, Austin started for us. He was playing probably 35 minutes a game, and, uh, and he was really impactful in that series. Um, and I know it's been hard for him coming off the bench when we're healthy, not getting that same opportunity as he had last year. But um, I wanted to go with Austin tonight. Vlatko did nothing wrong. Vlatko has been very good for us. But with their lineup, their athleticism, I wanted to throw Austin out there and let him kind of – play extended minutes and get into a rhythm. And he certainly did that, you know, uh, for us. So I thought he was uh, really good. Esteban Abed, go ahead. Hi, coach. Congrats for the win. How proud are you of the team's mentality in not uh, giving up and finding the victory and about the evolution from Facu in, the, in offense, scoring more triples, for example? Thank you. Yeah, Esteban, good to, uh, good to see you and hear from you. Uh, it's been a long time. Um, yeah, I was definitely proud of our team. You know, obviously, um, we had some examples of us playing really good basketball. We built a 17-point uh, a lead, and then all of a sudden, everything changed. You know, the Clippers became really aggressive. They got out um, and ran, scored in transition, attacked the basket, had us on our heels, and they built a nine-point lead. Uh, and to weather that storm, to stay together, and to find a way to get stops and execute on offense down the stretch was, was great to see. You know a team is going to go on a run. You see it every game you watch in the NBA. Uh, how do you handle those runs? And tonight we handle it in the appropriate manner. Uh, regarding Facundo Campazzo, uh, the proud son of Cordoba, yeah, I mean, Facu was terrific. The pace in which he plays with, his speed, his quickness, getting downhill, getting into the paint, making plays for his teammates, um, his hustle, 
Uh, he had one of my favorite plays of the game. He dove out of bounds to save a ball, and we got out and ran on the fast break. And obviously his ability to, to knock down three-point shots. So uh, Falco's a warrior. Uh, I love him and uh, very, very proud of him. Last one, we'll end with Leonardo Torres. Go ahead, Leonardo. Hi, Coach. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Coach, what are your thoughts on the defense, especially on the fourth quarter? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, good to hear from you as well, Leonardo. Um, 17 points in the fourth quarter is a great number, uh, especially when you go back to a game a few days ago when we gave up 38 fourth quarter points. So uh, a vast improvement in that. Disappointing in the third quarter, we allowed 28 and allowed them to take control of the game. But uh, to come back from a nine point deficit in the fourth quarter, you have to get stops. You have to get defensive rebounds. Um, and I think we did that uh, at a pretty high level in the fourth quarter, which enabled us to pull out a three-point win on the road. So uh, proud of our guys. Um, you know, we'll, we'll head to Golden State and, and try to be even better against a very good basketball team in San Francisco.